Hi Taurus, this is Jess with your weekly reading for June 13th to the 19th. I hope my Taurans are having a really great start to their June. Let's get into your reading. I see that some of my Tauruses have taken a break, time off, or or just, well I went, that's exactly, I believe that's what I said to you guys last week, that you guys were really disengaging from a group of people or from someone i feel like after and it's so funny my first card out is guess what the hermit so there's been some alone time some literally getting away from um the noise the chatter the problems the issues uh going within um and i feel that that has helped you guys get over a sense of disappointment. I feel that um, that has helped heal some sorrow and disappointment within you. I feel for others of you, some of you are now reuniting with someone that you took a break from. So some of you could have taken a break from someone. It could have been a Virgo, could have been an air sign. So Gemini, Aquarius or Libra. Um, and I feel that um, some of you could have taken a break and now you're kind of reuniting. Um, and there could have been like this call that came out of nowhere. Like somebody called you out of nowhere. You guys had this talk and now you've said, yes, I will. I'll see you or we can meet or you can come by or I'll stop by or whatever the conversation entailed. And I feel that this person could have this energy of just like almost like a child that's been given a bunch of sugar. Where you like calm down, like relax. Um, um, I feel like the person is so excited, they're just really over exaggerating or just doing a little too much when it comes to um how enthusiastic they are. For others of you, I feel that this person could be making plans with you and then flaking on them as quickly as they made them, they're they're not even going to follow through with it. Um I don't really ever see that as being a Tauren, as someone that would not keep their word and go through with what they say. I just feel that if you get some type of news that could possibly be a bit disappointing, be very careful about how you react to it. Because I think, you know, in your actions, <clears throat> excuse me, with Mars being retrograde, for anyone that is like trying to come or go balls to the wall, um, after something, you're only going to crash and burn because Mars is retrograde. And so it's not going to really help you out in any way. It could almost harm you and, and cause a reverse reaction. So that would be my message for this coming week for you guys. Um, if any news or anything that comes to you, uh, be very conscious about how you um, react to things. Now, on a larger scale, <coughs> excuse me, guys on a larger scale i feel that some of you have been made aware of a situation so something has come um some type of deceit betrayal you have been made aware of or you're or you're doing something deceptive it doesn't have to be something bad but it's something that you feel that you know you have to keep close to your vest and i feel that um it's giving you a new sense of understanding it's almost like giving you a rebirth like this coming into this week this this alone time this self-reflection you know has really i feel is majorly healing you guys in a big way and i feel that there is a decision that you're making because of it some type of decision some type of a revelation message that comes to you that you gain this newfound newfound understanding or appreciation for something and you're keeping it to yourself you're not telling anyone okay um and i feel like out of it there's a sense of you feeling it almost restabilized you guys it restores you there could be a new job that you guys are going to get by the end of the week and it like it literally comes out of nowhere so quickly um and you get the news and but you have you can't really share it with anyone or there could be um, some type of new creative endeavor that you have uh, that's come to you and you're like you know what uh, this is really going to really help me 
um, manifest some gains and some monies. And I think that this is going to be a really great idea, but you just don't feel comfortable for whatever reason uh, sharing things. So there's going to be some type of holding things close to your vest, uh, finding out about some deceit that if, if it's coming from others, you're going to find out about it, that someone's being deceitful to you and it literally will come out of nowhere. And with that revelation, I feel like you're going to have a whole newfound understanding about a situation that you've been dealing with with a particular person or circumstance. Um, I feel that the person's reactions to it may be hasty, perhaps yours as well, if it's um, on your end, which would not be a good thing. Um, if it's the other person, you really are not going to take too kind with their reaction to a cer certain circumstance. But I do feel that if it is you that's witnessing this type of behavior, I feel that you guys are not going to share your thoughts with the person right then and there. Um I think that, you know, it'll be that hit dog holler type of thing. So it's like, oh, well, you said you didn't do this, but you're reacting in a way that seems to make you guilty. And just like a hit dog, they will holler. So um, you might just observe what's going on and keep your thoughts and how you feel about the situation to yourself. So that is what I definitely see. And I feel like this type of energy is applying to your entire life. So it's not your entire life, but whatever it specifically focuses on in your life, but you can apply it to any area of your life. So no need for me to go into certain aspects or sections of life. That's what I see for you guys, Taurus. Thank you so much for your comments last week. I really appreciated all of your comments and your thumbs up and your likes and subscribes. I really do appreciate that, guys. So you can definitely hit me either comment below or you can send me an email if you like thumbs up and also subscribe because i will be back next week with another reading take care